Okay, tell me, when was the last time you were wearing a skirt? Your best friend's bachelor party? Your own wedding anniversary? You see, you don't even remember. I know, pants are so much easier. They don't require high heels, perfect legs, flat stomach, the stressful, tiresome brainstorming sessions in the morning with shoes and tights to pair them with. But what if I shown you five easy, stylish looks with the most flattering fits of skirts for any figure type? Would you give it a chance? Family Sunday with the boys, wild and energy consuming as usual. I must confess that my style as the only woman in our family has always been a matter of discussion. I guess we just have a different definition of looking cool with my teenage sons. You're always wearing the same pants and blazers, said one of them. Yes, mom. Why do you only wear skirts when you go out with dad? On my way home, I start going through my daily casual looks, trying to remember if skirt was anyhow in the scene. No memories found. I couldn't help but wonder, have skirts become the dying out pieces in modern women's wardrobe? Is there any way to get them back in our daily style? Okay, this is my first skirt. It's a maxi skirt with a front split, low waist from Zara. I bought it in Paris in September for about 25 euro and it's really such an amazing investment. Because first of all, as you have noticed everywhere in street style, maxi skirts are the biggest trend of the season right now. And at the same time, it's so much basic, so much universal. First of all, you can really fit in it no matter which body shape and height you are, it would really suit perfectly for petite, at the same time for taller girls, it would fit a curvy girl and would really conceal the volume. And at the same time, if you don't have enough curves and if you are pretty much straight, you can really style it with a lot of layering and add some edgy shoes with it and it will really fit perfectly any body type. So I'm gonna create some layering and I'm also gonna wear some sneakers with it and a baseball cap just to show you that even maxi skirts, pretty classy one, can look very casual and very relaxed. So I just buttoned my shirt with two buttons and I'm gonna put one strand inside the skirt to create some asymmetrical lines. I'm going to wear sneakers, my favorite trainers from Adidas. I love them. I really, they're so universal, so stylish, and they really upgrade anything you wear. So actually, I have two options for this look. If it's as warm as now, in Belgium it's quite warm, I'm just gonna wear this shirt with a sweater on top, just to keep me a little bit warm, and at the same time to give this look more modern and more layered, cozy feel. And I'm going to wear a baseball cap in case my hair is not perfect as today for example and I'm also going to wear my favorite basic purse it's from Bottega Veneta and here you go this is my first look with the maxi skirt so for my second look I paired this black skirt with an oversized cable knit sweater. It's really beautiful because of the color. It's also oversized. It gives it a very nice accent. I actually tucked it a little bit in a skirt to balance up the figure and to balance up this oversized silhouette. But actually because the fit of the skirt is straight and quite tailored and it has a split and a lot of elongating details, I'm actually not afraid to pair it with an oversized sweater. And on top of that, I'm gonna wear a very nice jacket. It's from Low Classic, it's a vegan leather. It's very beautiful and again, very warm. I really like that this jacket is quite tailored. It's cinched with a waistband and it really balances up the silhouette. It accentuates the waistline, so it doesn't really look too voluminous, too oversized. It still looks quite feminine. And I can actually wear this color like that, and I can actually wear it as a scarf. And again, I paired it with this beautiful Bottega cassette bag. It's again, very universal. Et voilà, this is my third look and I'm wearing a mini skirt and it's been such a long time. I can't believe that I'm finally wearing a mini skirt. It's always such a struggle and you really need to feel super confident to wear a mini skirt. But if there is the right time to wear a mini, that it's definitely in autumn and winter time because you can pair it with any kind of tights 
and if you don't really feel confident about your legs you can always wear a mini skirt with dark black opaque tights and your legs will look much slimmer so you don't need to worry about feeling confident wearing a mini skirt and again to balance up the mini length you can go for a longer layering piece such as in this case i'm just wearing my husband's blazer and the whole trick about not looking vulgar in mini is just to wear an extra layer on top of that so and i really love this look because it's um, sort of a mix of masculine and feminine style I have very sexy uh, transparent tights, it's about I think 15 dan max and I have a very short mini skirt, I haven't been wearing it for a very long time but at the same time I paired it with this masculine Prada loafers and with men's shirt and men's blazer on top to balance up this short length and transparent tights. And this is my fourth look. I actually paired a pleated skirt, a very feminine one, with my leather blazer. And in case you were wondering if pleated skirts are still on trend, they are. It's again some staple, basic wardrobe staple. It's quite universal and it really, I mean, depends how you style it. Well, the whole trick to look actual and to look trendy in pleated skirts is actually not to pair it with something very feminine but just to go for something more edgy more rock and roll like for example a leather blazer and this um, very tough riding boots i know that a lot of curvy women are afraid to wear pleated skirts they may work volume enhancing but i just want to let you know that it's not the pleated skirts itself but the width of the pleats just go for the pleats which are very narrow very small and go for a very fluid fabric that it doesn't really Really keep a lot of volume it's not too stiff so it's gonna look very nice and even curvy women can use it as a basic wardrobe staple so for my fifth look I decided to go for an a-line skirt with asymmetrical hemline and high waist. A-line skirts are the best, the most universal, the most flattering fits you can imagine. I recommend you to include it in your basic wardrobe unless you have one already. And in terms of styling, I decided to go for academia style because it's really high on trend in the past, I think, few seasons for sure. So I decided to pair it with a white plain tank top my basic if you watched my video previously you know it's like one of the must-haves of the basic wardrobe i paired it with the waistcoat which has me to create more structured more smart look and on top of that i'm gonna wear my trench coat i'm gonna wear a sweater as a scarf as an extra layer in case i get a little bit chilly and as last detail, my universal for today's video bag, cassette from Batanga Veneta. It really goes with pretty much everything. And as you see, I paired it with uh, white socks again. I'm really crazy about white socks. I mean, I really love this trend. And I paired my white socks with loafers again. So, and this is my look for to go for a walk or to go for a lunch date with my kids or with my husband. Et voilà, that's it for today. I really hope that I have inspired you to give skirts another chance. Please subscribe to my channel if you are really determined to upgrade your style because there's so much more to come. And I'll see you next week. Bye!